to the fourth quarter after what happened last year? Uh, I think, you know, it was so important throughout the whole game. It's all about finish um, and maximize every time we had an opportunity um, to put in display um, our offense. And I don't think that was so important, uh, especially in the fourth quarter, because it's all about finish. You know, that's when you can really implement the finish mentality, and I think that was so important. How quick is it to have a, a short memory? Throw the pick, but then you respond. You talk about finish, but how big is that with the whole team, especially with, you know, they got the touchdown, then they stopped the two-point conversion finish? I think that's that's the biggest thing about playing a position. You know, of course, you have you plays you want back. Even if I didn't throw a pick, it's always a play I want back throughout the whole game. And it's all about bouncing back and then maximizing any play that you have. You know, the mistakes are going to come. You know, that's, that's the best thing about football is that mistakes allow you to learn and grow from it. And so I can definitely say the mistakes um, that I've, you know, had in football, that does it give me an opportunity to learn and grow um, as much as possible. So it's just a great learning moment. And talk about the play to Bernard, the touchdown. What did you see? Um, so it's all about reading it out. You know, it's a play that we repped throughout the whole week. And, um, and it was all about, you know, reading it properly, just having great eye discipline, you know, allowing our um, playmakers to make some space and make some plays in space. And um, Jeremy did a good, route on his, good, good job on his route, and I just gave him a chance on the ball. What's it like being on the sideline? You don't, you don't have control over the outcome when you're on the sideline last Tuesday. Uh, I think it's, when we talk about team, that's a great example of just, you know, finding a way as a group um, to just cheer on our, cheer on whoever's on the field and um, just everybody just, just, just buying in. I think that's so important, especially um, when the defense is on the field. Offense should be encouraging them on the, on the field, special team, no matter who's on the field, it's all about the encouraging aspect of it um, when we're off the field. And so um, it's all about trust factor too. And then we all have the belief in, the, in whoever's on the field. Did you have okay. conversations you with the offensive line, your offensive line about maybe quarterback protection, especially with South Carolina's edge rushers? Um, so you got to factor into this week. Um, we definitely got to um, acknowledge you know, the opponent we've had. Um, that was a great defense that we just played against. You know, they have really good, two great uh, pass rushers that they had. Um, they're, they're definitely good players. Um, and it's something that we just try to prep against um, throughout the whole week. So, you know, beyond today, you know, we had a whole week of preparation. I thought that was so important um, when it came to pass pro, when it came to their stunts, their blitzes, um, how they rush up the field. It was, it was all about our game plan um, as far as, you know, managing and understanding who our personnel was that was on defense. So, um, you know, communication was so important on the sideline throughout the game with the offensive line, so we're on the same page. On that track, how do you think that you dealt with the multiple looks, uh, pre-snap setting protect protection? Yeah, so, um, you know, each play, you know, the requirement of the quarterback is to do, with, you know, do your best and try to get our offense in the right position so that we can be successful. And so, of course, you know, they're going to disguise. They're going to give us looks that we haven't seen before with our preparation. That's what they should do. And so, you know, on my end, you know, it's so, you know, it's just a factor for us just to always try to do what's best. And, you know, at my position, you know, just trying to, you know, make sure that we're in the right check, the right pass protection, and um, have a great eye discipline. And so I think that's, you know, uh, that's something that we need to do as much as possible as far as offensive line and quarterback, just having a great communication. And I think that's something we did a really good job with, with Parker and myself, and just communicating. Um, and to make sure to run on the right track. Jim, what was your thought process? This season, what do you feel like the biggest strength of the offense is and where do you want to see some improvement? Biggest strength, mental toughness. I think finishing, you know, despite anything that goes on in the game, I think mental toughness is so important beyond talent um, because, you know, we have a board that says TNT takes no talent. Um, and it takes no talent to have, you know, that's something that we just try to have mental toughness, um, grind, refine, compete much as possible throughout the whole week. And then when we have games, just being our best us and doing with our best on that, whatever that game plan or whatever that call is. Um, and, you know, one sign um, that, we, that we all want to do is that the first sign of improvement is knowledge that you need to work hard and the knowledge that you need to improve. And so that's what we have in our locker room is guys that's, you know, that, that's always looking to get better um, and learning, you know, learning and growing as much as possible. Because, you know, we have a long season ahead of us and through games, you know, that's our, first test to another opponent and allow us to um, gauge where we're at and also just understand, you know, where we're at as far as, you know, communication and also um, just putting our best us on the field. So um, I think that's, you know, that's, that's awesome for us to just not look back and just reflect and just be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mental yeah. toughness, after everything that happened last week, the noise from everyone talking about this team, how proud are you of the guys for how they responded and took this team's fist punch? Very proud. I think it's not, it's very hard, you know, as, as far as a group um, to really come together when there's when there's when there's um, hardship that you know that takes place. And I think we did a really good job just refocusing 
Um, it's definitely, you know, definitely hard for anybody, you know, when you have something like that take place. But it's all about refocusing and understanding what our short-term goals, long-term goals um, was as for us as a group. And so I think leaders did a group, really good job of stepping up, you know, being a vocal leader and also leading by example and just refocusing us on, on the path that we want to, you know, get to. And, you know, the mission is still the mission and all our goals are still the goals. It's now it's all about following those, you know, all of our goals by the, how hard we work and the mindset that we have. Can you Coach, walk us through the last play of the first half? What was the, the message from Coach DeBoer after the timeout, the 10 seconds left? Uh, what, what was the goal with that last play? Yeah, um, I think, you know, it was for us to manage the field, cut the field in half, and just executing the play at hand. Um, uh, you know, I got to do a, do a better job with having great eye discipline, great details. Um, and managing the field, um, and definitely something that you know I need to do a better job at having better ball dominance and details. Um, but no, nah, yeah, I think it was just executing the play at hand, just cutting the field mad. What does it mean to you that the board trusts you to make those kind of? He's very aggressive in those situations. What does it mean that he has that trust in you to kind of make those plays, though? Number one thing you said was trust. I think that's something that I appreciate about Coach Board so much is the trust factor and on the belief he has in me. Um, that it's always. Um, vocalize, you know, his belief in me is greatly appreciated from my end, especially when you have your head coach that believes in you each and every day and always has your back, despite anything, despite your failures, despite um, anything, you know, he's always my, you know, has, has my back. So as a quarterback, I always, I'm greatly appreciative of him. Can you yeah. speak to uh, the fact that most, for the most part, South Carolina took away the vertical pass game and how patient did you have to be? This is the first time Ryan's has called a touchdown. No, absolutely, yeah, I mean, um, you know, they game plan just like we game plan. So they definitely see how explosive we are on offense. So that's their, you know, that was definitely something that they saw from us is that how explosive we are in the vertical game. And so for them to acknowledge that just so that, you know, they acknowledge, you know, where our strength is. So um, that was a great job by them. Um, Got to credit, you know, South Carolina for their preparation on their grit, um, how well they played together. And they're definitely, a, you know, a great opponent, a great defense that we just played against. And, um, you know, definitely um, got to acknowledge, you know, who we just played against and, you know, how hard they fought. How patient did you have to be with that? Oh, 100%. You got to, got to, you got to definitely got to be patient because there's so much football left and, you know, so much time on the clock. And so when you have this time, it's all about maximizing every opportunity despite any any play call or, you know, especially in the passing game. It's just doing doing my job, just having great eye discipline. Um, and just giving distributing the ball to our playmakers. Did you, you feel like you missed some chances on deep balls, or were there just no chances there? Missed them. You know, it was definitely opportunities where I could um, give our give our uh, receivers a chance. Um, definitely opportunity. You know, there's a lot of a lot of uh, left on the field, and so that's what the beautiful thing about football is. There's so much opportunity. You know, now we can refine, can, you know, and, and um, reflect on this past game, and then boom, we can move forward um, from it. Uh, but just it's always acknowledging that. You know, there's you know areas where we can attack the football field um, with the proper guidance, and that's what we have with our great coaching staff. That's going to that pour everything into us, so we can be the best offense we can be. Can you walk us through the period? Yeah. Last two weeks about uh, having these big learning situations. Are they stacked on top of one another, or are there really similar similarities today and what happened? What happened against Vanderbilt? I think you know each team that you play against is different structures, and, and each team we play against is unique in their own way. Um, everyone's strengths are not the same, you know, you know, despite any opponent that we have. You know, West Kentucky's, you know, their strengths are different than USF. Their strengths are different than um, South Carolina. So each week you learn so much. And um, that's something, something that we acknowledge that each opponent that we prepare for, they're going to give us a different look. South Carolina didn't run the same structure, um, strength defense as Vanderbilt. So that's something for us um, when we have this week um, with game planning, it just um, understand, you know, Who's the personnel? You know, what are the things that they like to run in certain situations? And just us um, gauging that, <clears throat> understanding that, and just trying to do what's best for us on offense. Kevin, what's going to be your focal point this week in practice for you personally? Personally, get better. Um, overall, um, just be the best quarterback I can be for this team. Um, just be continuing to just guide and uh, lead lead the guys in the locker room because, you know, we have so much football ahead of us. and. You know, as, as long as we have the right mindset to continue, continue to grow as a group, we're just going to be on our right on our way. And so um, I just something I acknowledge from this group is that we have a great, great locker room that all have like mindedness when it comes to what our short term goals and long term goals are for a football team. And so um, I know that that's the best part about um, being a part of our team. Thank you. Thanks, man.